Hi Cancerians, welcome to Carol's Universe, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So sorry, I've decided to re-record your video. Um, I think on the last one something happened. Sometimes my mind just switches like that. Um, it was a reading for Cancer, but I started saying Capricorn through the reading and loads of people were like, what's going on? Is this Capricorn or Cancer? Is it? So yeah, I thought, take it down, get rid of it. and let's Because it, it, it obviously kind of really screwed the reading up. So yeah. We're going to do a fresh one for Cancer for the month of October 2021. And my apologies once again, Cancerians, for um, kind of muddling up your reading, okay? So, for the reading, I've decided to use the Dark Mansion Tarot by Tarot Tucker Studios. Um, and we're using the Carl Gray Angel Guide Oracle for your spiritual advice, okay? So, yeah, let's uh, make a start on the reading. what do you need to be focusing on for october 2021 the nine of pentacles your finances possibly the, the nine of pentacles is about finances it's about, it's about finances but it's about being comfortable that's the nine of coins for you it can be about your home as well when you get the nine of coins this can be a card about um an apartment this is usually a single person's apartment because the nine of coins person usually lives on their own sometimes it can be in a relationship but still independent of one but uh, usually this is somebody who's very self-sufficient. This is somebody who's independent. This is somebody who's got their own money. Uh, this is somebody who makes their own living. Sometimes the Nine of Coins can be one of those cards that indicates that you get money via inheritance because sometimes it can be unearned wealth. Um, but I think there needs to be a focus on, and also nines mean gain. So a number nine means gain, okay? And and also number nines are outcome cards so that they're they're pretty much nearing the end of their cycle because you have the 10 afterwards so this is about a gaining as well so if some of you guys are focusing on money or gaining as much money as you possibly can or maybe perhaps some of you guys have a goal in terms of gaining money then yeah that that would be that would be it as well okay so this is financial achievement here that needs to be focused on for the month of uh, october 2021 cancerians let's have a look at what's going on underneath this strength Sorry, guys, I just had to go and close my curtains because it was casting a shadow over the cards. Um, so, strength. Um, power. When you have strength, and I think this is a financial reading because the crowning card is about the nine of coins. This is about financial security on a very personal level so when you get the nine of coins you're safe you're comfortable you have enough you're not you don't have to be rich with the nine of coins of course you don't but you definitely have enough to live with this card you're comfortable so there needs to be a focus on that and what's going on underneath is that this is about having power over your finances because that strength card for you is about having power over your finances um right yeah the eight of coins so this is having power over your income. With the Ace of Coins and the Strength, what that reminds me of is somebody who knows exactly what they're doing with their money. They've got a lot of control over those finances. Um, you know, things are paid. You know, if you if you if you owe any debt, everything is paid on time. Cancerians, everything is paid like clockwork. You know, you don't have to worry about your income because you know what's coming in, what's going out. You've got a really good handle on those finances. This is control. So this is control of the income because the Ace of Coins is your income card. So there's a lot of control over the income here. What's the next one? 
Okay, but I think that this is about to end, if I'm being honest with you. I think this may be ending. I don't want to turn a negative spin on it. Some of you guys may be leaving a job. Um, some of you guys might be paying some for something big. Um, let's have a look at the next one. Ten of Wands. So, Ten of Wands um, is stress. It's struggle. This is kind of like having a lot of debt. Um, so, I'm going to double up this. I'm going to say that this could end, the Ten of Wands. So, this will come to an This... It depends on what that is, because strength can also mean the need to be controlled. Ace of Coins can be spending as well. It's not just the Six of Pentacles that indicates spending. The Ace of Coins does as well. End of debt or struggles. Okay. Um, there's a woman here who's obviously not you, Cancerians. So perhaps this is someone who can help, Queen of Wands. She's usually quite an inspiration. She's quite motivational and she's very helpful. Maybe you can end your struggles with cash using this. Or maybe there needs to be some action that needs to be taking place on your part. It's an interesting flow of cards. Your power over money is going to change. There's going to be a change relating to this for some of you guys. Okay, however, you can change the problem or the stress. But I think it's saying that this is going to happen here, but I'm doubling up the death card with this one as well. So, yeah, for some of you guys in October, Cancerians, yeah, and this is uh, um, Sun, Moon, Rising. Your power or control over your finances may come to an end. There may be a change here. So you may have. You know, you may have, a, you know, a solid income every month, every week, and you know where your money's going, you know what you're paying for, you know what's coming in, you know, you've, you've written down um, exactly what it is that you need to put in and put out, right? I would suggest that these cards are that, but I think there's going to be some upheaval here, a change, um, but I think that you can kind of lessen with the Ten of Wands being the over card and the death card being the ending card. I think you can lessen the problems if you take action now, Queen of Wands, because Queen of Wands is an action orientated card. So you're going to lessen the big problems that you'll face if you take action now. Some of you guys may already know what this is. So action now can be about, I mean, we're nearly into October anyway. But we'll see what the action is here, I guess, or what the outcome will be. But I think you can lessen the problem if you take action now. Uh, whether that be looking for a new role or, you know, whether that be if you've got like a second income, uh, maybe doing more hours there or something like that. But you can lessen the problems if you take action with this queen. And also, if you look at it from a positive outlook, if you take a positive spin on things, because she's really positive with the queen of wands. She's always got a can do energy. You know, she's always got a can do attitude as the queen of wands. She's like, OK, yep. Yeah, Right, I've no longer got this particular income to rely on. So things are changing for me financially. But I can lessen the stress if I do this. If I'm action orientated, if I'm positive, if I'm optimistic, if I say, okay, right, let's do something else. I think that this can be lessened for you. So you need to, the focus around this needs to be on financial gain, financial success, nine of coins. There's no, there's no uh, time cancerians to start panicking around anything you just don't have the time to do it there's no time here for this there's just no time okay there's no time at all that's what i think that's what the spread is saying there's no time to start getting negative about stuff you just there's just no time she doesn't stick around that's the thing with the queen of wands she doesn't stick around in the place of negativity none of the wand people do they're always optimistic they're always looking forward always so there's no time to stick around in anything negative here you've just got to go out and get it you've got to say okay this is happening right what's my next step what's my next move because i need to focus on this i need to focus on remaining comfortable remaining safe remaining secure so you need to 
This is what some of you guys have already built up. This is where you are right now. And you need to focus on holding on to that. So your control over your finances here may be changing. But you need to lessen the load by being proactive going forward. Okay. Let's have a look at what the advice or the outcome is. So you've got a queen of coins showing here now. So this is financial success, financial security. It could be another. It could be a financial advisor, for example. Um, two of swords. This needs to be your focus. Because the two of swords can mean many things. The two of swords can mean decisions, but it can also mean cutting things out. blocking. But she's not blocking anything. The swords are below her. Can you see? So she's thinking, she's got multiple ideas. So perhaps the Queen of Coins, I'm not going to read that as an individual, but I would say with the Two of Swords, perhaps there is a need to start thinking of multiple ideas in terms of how you, because remember the Two of Swords, Swords are ideas. It's the Ace of Swords twice, and the Ace of Swords is an idea card. So this is multiplying the ideas. So you need to think about multiple ideas of how you're going to remain financially you know, successful, solvent, whatever, because the Queen of Coins is very similar to that Nine of Pentacles. They're the similar thing. They're the same in a way. Um, Six of Cups. So this is something about dreaming or fantasizing or visualizing, perhaps. Yeah, you definitely need to visualize yourself as having a lot of money. There are certain cards within the tarot that indicate the word visualization. I read them as Seven of Cups, Six of Cups, because they're imaginary cards. They're, you need to imagine yourself. Let's use that word. It's imagination. You need to imagine yourself as having a lot of money here, Cancerians. As being financially. That's the thing. And I think that this Queen of Wands may be kind of tapping into the essence of manifestation. Because she's into all of that. All of the Wands are. There's, wands represent spirituality as well. So Wands are energy as well. So when we look at the idea of manifestation, we're looking at the idea of man you know energy putting an energy out there whether it's both being emotional and mental and that's your queen of wands so this is about you lessening that load by being proactive by putting positive energy out there but positive energy in terms of emotion and thinking there are three things to do when you manifest that is to think of what you want emote the feeling of having it and also take the action when the action when the opportunity arises and you can meet those things together and the manifestation comes. So this is what the Queen of Wands is doing. So you need to think of multiple ideas of how you're going to do this. How you're going to remain financially secure and safe and, safe and stable here. You need to imagine yourself as this, comfortable with the Ten of Pentacles. The Lovers. So it's interesting. Um... The Lovers is a card about choice. And I only read this Lovers card as choice because he's looking at a choice between this and this. So this is about making positive choices. So you need to imagine yourself as this and make positive choices that run in, li in line with this. So this is the thing. It's making the it's, it's taking inspired action and making positive choices. I use the Lovers on this deck as choice because he has a choice between two females. So this is about making choices that benefit you going forward and make, yeah, making choices that will benefit you because I spoke about the need to take action. Whenever we're manifesting anything, it's not just about sitting and dreaming. You have to take the action because things aren't always just going to fall in your lap. So I would say for the month of October, Cancerians, focus on being comfortable. Focus on what you've built already, Nine of Pentacles. Focus on the beautiful lifestyle for some of you guys that you've built and keep focusing on that. Because the control and the power that you've had over your income for some time, guys, is going to change with that death card. And in order to lighten the load with the death and the Ten of Wands energy, you have to. And some of you guys with the Ten of Wands tend to mean to do something over. So if you've been running perhaps a side business or you've been doing something else to generate money, you need to do it more with the Ten. Because the Ten is saying you need to ramp this up. You need to be doing more with whatever you're doing here with that Queen. So if you've been focusing on manifesting along with a job that you're doing, whatever, you need to do that more. You need to be looking at doing more of that, I think. Some people would say, well, no, you need to let things go. Of course you do. But if you've been half-hearted in terms of manifesting certain things, then you need to really be focusing on ramping that up. But also mainly, I think, to lighten this load here, 
after that financial kind of structure is kind of coming down a little bit, I would say with this queen that you need to kind of start focusing on what the next step will be and taking action in that direction. You need to, as advice, uh, focus on multiple ideas. What are your ideas? So start kind of opening your mind as well. Two of Swords means to open your mind. Open your mind to this. So you need to really kind of open your mind to being secure. Imagine that you're safe and you're comfortable and that you're living in a very harmonious environment. Imagine that you're, you've got money, that you're financially comfortable and secure here and make choices that will support that. Okay, let's have a look at what the spiritual message is for you Cancerians today. What is the spiritual message that you have for Cancerians on this reading? What is the spiritual message that you have for Cancerians on this reading in one card? Honesty and communication is the message. Let's have a quick look in the book at what this is. Honesty and communication. You are being given an opportunity to speak your truth. You have reached a point on your journey where you must be honest with yourself and all those around you. If you are holding anything in or feel you need to share something in order to feel free, know that your angel guide is encouraging you to act on this now. When you share your feelings and speak truthfully, you draw the support and light of the universe into your heart. If you are in a challenging position and find it difficult communicating what is in your heart, call in angels and ask them to support you. They want you to know that when you speak with honesty, you attract experiences that lovingly reflect who you really are. Fantastic, lovely. This could also be somebody who can help with this Ten of Wands with any type of stress as well. So yeah, beautiful reading for the month, guys. I uh, hope you have a good one. Uh, if you'd like to order a private reading with me, click on the link in the comment section below. Uh, and also I'll be on Patreon at some point in November. So I'll let you know, guys, when that's all set up and raring to go. All right, love you loads. Take care. Bye now. Bye.